Welcome back to my channel. It's Kiss and Makeup. I want to thank you guys so much for clicking this video. If you're new to my channel, I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of new videos coming up and I really want you guys to be a part of that. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to the 25 Days of Kissmas. So in today's video, I will be talking all about my winter favorites. I'm not going to make this video any longer than it needs to be, so let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm just going to start with these and the first thing that I have to mention are these wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I usually prefer to wait until the semi-annual sale, but I just want it to really make the house smell, or I guess my room smell, like really festive. And just I only bought five because I didn't really want to go crazy because I know the semi-annual sale will be coming up at the end of this month, so I only got a couple things. So I got one in peppermint brownie, salted caramel, marshmallow fireside, lavender vanilla, and then I have one in the wallflower right now. I think it's like a cinnamon something vanilla. Cinnamon spice vanilla. Something like that. Moving right along, I wanted to go ahead and share this comment combo with you guys because I promise you this is the perfect winter skincare combo. Like if you have dry skin, flaky skin, just, just those two. The first thing that I have is this Nivea cream. As you guys can see, the Nivea cream is like super thick. It's, it's literally not going anywhere. It's super thick. This product by itself is extremely difficult for me to like, you know, like work into my skin. It just feels like it sits on top of the surface of my skin. But when I mix this with this cocoa butter body gel, it's like a match made in heaven. So I like to apply this combination like as soon as I get out of the bathtub at night. I put it all over my legs, my elbows. Also, if you have dry heels, you can put this on the back of your heel and then like put on some socks and when you wake up in the morning, your feet will be like so much smoother. So the next products that I have to mention are hair products and the first one that I want to mention to you guys is this Style Factor Edge Booster. I have mine in the blueberry scent but they have like a bunch of different scents which is just something kind of fun to add to it. I'll probably try a different scent the next time that I get one. Uh, they have like pineapple, peach, coconut. Scents don't affect like the hold of the product but it's just something fun to add. I really like this edge control like right after I've gotten a relaxer because it's one of those like thinner edge controls. You read the label it says strong hold water based pomade and that's pretty much like the perfect way to describe it. It's not one of those super thick uh, waxy edge controls that's going to give you like the strongest hold is very flexible which is what I like after I've gotten a relaxer and I just want something to kind of like hold down my edges. I do want to give you guys a fair warning. If your hair is dirty, if your hair is dirty, if your hair is dirty, it will turn white. And I, I don't like that, but it's really nice like if I just wash my hair or something like that. The next item that I have to mention, I actually used in my hair today, and it's pretty much like a, um, a crimper, like an old school crimper. So I got mine on Amazon for, I think, around 20 bucks and this one is the bedhead wave artist like i said it's basically a crimp iron that's what it looks like from the front and it just closes and that's what it looks like from the side same thing this one doesn't have the temperature settings however it does have a high and low dial i'm not sure how high the highest of highs is but i usually leave mine on the high setting it also has like an on and off switch right here on the side and on the top it has like a lock pretty much so you can lock it closed that's usually how I like to have it when I'm getting ready to store this this waiver is really convenient especially for days like this when I just want to like add something extra to my ponytail to me this is a lot quicker than trying to use a wand and like having to go through and individually wrap hair because I can take like a large section of hair and just use this crimper and you know just like basically wave it up I also like to use this when I wear my U parts because it gives you some really pretty like beach waves. Especially if you wave it in different patterns so that when you comb it out you have like these really pretty like loose waves. So the last few items that I have to mention to you guys are all makeup items and honestly these products are also pretty much 
enough to give you like a full face and they're all affordable so stay tuned. The first item that I want to mention to you guys is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I've been using this mascara for a few months. I got it for free through Influencer. If you're interested in finding out how you can get free products from Influencer, then I will have the video that I created linked in the card somewhere. It's not a scam. It's not a trap. You don't pay taxes. You don't have to be a social media influencer. You don't have to have like a huge following. None of that. Like. 100% free products. If you want to find out how you can get them, check out that video. But I've been using this mascara for a few months because I don't have really long eyelashes and I also don't like to wear um, false eyelashes all the time. Like it, It's just like a kind of a hassle sometimes. Especially if I'm not going anywhere special. Then I like to use this mascara because it really does lengthen your, ma your eyelashes and make them look longer. So... This is really nice. It also doesn't give like that really annoying clumpy thing that a lot of mascaras that lengthen lashes do. However, when I do want to wear false lashes, but I really like to wear something that looks natural. I prefer like a more wispy style lash. I hate big dramatic lashes on me. They make me look so stupid because of the way that my eyes are shaped. I have hooded eyes, so if I wear these dramatic lashes, they just look dumb on me. They, they just look stupid. So I really like these lashes a lot because you can find them in Walmart and they're honestly not expensive at all. This one is like a five pack and I think I paid like eight or nine dollars for it and these are the Kiss Shy Lashes. These are an alternative to the Ardell Demi Wispies which I also really really like. Next thing that I want to mention to you guys is this Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. I absolutely love Juvia's Place. I love everything that they stand for. All of their products are super affordable. Me and my friends are always ranting and raving about how cheap their palettes are because the pans are really big so you honestly are getting a lot of bang for your buck and then on top of that the colors are super pretty. I have a bunch of different palettes. This one specifically I've been using a lot since I can't every time I look at it it just it makes me want to do my makeup all over again if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while then you've already seen this product before because I used to use it way back in the day like this was one of the very first um, foundations that I ever used and now I'm kind of like circling back to it it's the Clinique stay matte uh, foundation and I, I every time I do this I I don't understand why I stopped using it in the first place, but it gives you an overall matte finish. I'm wearing it today. It also stays matte throughout the day, which is really convenient because like nobody really wants to have to blot or powder throughout the day, and I, I never have to do that whenever I wear this foundation. So next I've been using these Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I use the one in the shade Caramel and the one in the shade Cocoa. I like to use the Caramel to highlight and the Cocoa to contour whenever I do a cream contour. I saw a lot of people using these products months ago. Um, they were supposed to be kind of like a, du a dupe to the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer. So I found myself baking a lot lately but I don't like to use uh, translucent powders that aren't actually translucent because then it just makes me look like really washed out and pasty. So I've been liking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders just because they have color to them so they don't look stark. I use the shade Medium Deep and I mix in a little bit of the dark and these are really cheap and they're really nice actually. I really just like to use these to bake like under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And I feel like the finish of these is really, really nice. I'm surprised that more people don't mention them because I really feel like they're very underrated for what they're worth. Definitely say that this is a really nice drugstore alternative. I love a nude lip. It doesn't honestly matter what time of year it is. So today I thought that I'd mention one of my favorite lip combos to you guys that I've been using a lot lately. It's the MAC Lust Lip Glass and the ColourPop Verbatim Lip Topper. And this combo together is super pretty. Um, the Lust is like a pinky nude. And then the Lip Topper, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. But it's like a... It's like a gold with a lot of pink undertones. So this combo is super pretty. If you guys can kind of see that. It looks a little more sheer on camera. But it has flecks of gold and pink glitter in it so but yeah guys that's all the items that I have to mention to you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you will subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of this family and I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next 25 days of Kissmas video